So this is still part of 9.3, logarithmic function stuff. Um, well, we already know what a logarithm is, but I guess one thing that's good on this is the domain is the set of positive real numbers, okay? And then the range is a set of all real numbers, meaning that the function will go infinitely up and down, but from zero it only goes to the right, okay? So it's shown right here, right? Uh, on this one it shows where b is greater than one. So if the base is of the logarithm, that says lob, it should say log. <laughs> Sorry, typing's hard. Um, whatever the case, this b is the base that we're talking about. If it were greater than one, then the graph would look something like this. Notice, kind of like with the exponential functions, it's not crossing an axis. In this case, it's the y-axis. So the domain, and again, notice the zero is not included in the domain. But as soon as you go to the right, you're in the domain, and it will go forever to the right, right there. The range, on the other hand, this one will go infinitely downward. And since it goes infinite, infinitely to the right growing, then it goes infinitely upwards as well. So the range is from negative infinity to infinity with an x-intercept of 1, 0, which is this point right here. Notice it works for both of them. Same with the domain and the range. Just the difference on this one is that b is would be some kind of fraction, proper fraction, or some decimal that is less than 1. And this one is, both of these are one-to-one -one because both of them pass the horizontal line test. Graph the logarithmic function, label any, any intercepts. Okay. Well, this is a logarithmic function, so actually it may be better to see this one in exponential form. So f of x is just our y value. So this is really y to the power of one-half is x. For some of you, it's better to see this as the square root of y is x. I don't know, all right? But it should help me to make the table. 